when you go down those YouTube rabbit holes, sometimes you come across some uh, some gold. And uh, I found. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, it's um, it's a little stop motion of some dancing cats, which uh, <clears throat> anyway. Whatever, it inspired the latest uh, blenderings, if that's what you call it. What do you call it? What do you call it when you make stuff in Blender? Blendering? Blendering. Blenders. The latest blend. Um, yeah, so that inspired me to mess around and make this, which is quite cursed now I look at it. But, um, I don't know. Well, I, I guess... If I keep doing this long enough, and in time I improve, then hopefully stuff will get better. And then I'll look back at this stuff and think like, what was I thinking? I completely forgot that I actually did a bit before I did the bit. So now there's a bit of me doing a segue from this bit into the first bit, because it wouldn't make any sense otherwise. And obviously this makes complete sense. Yes. So let's see if I can uh, do this. Uh, so I have some reference material from a video which I'll play. <laughs> see, now I've reoriented the camera. It looks like video I recorded earlier, but it's actually video I've recorded after. Man, there's so much to think about with um, editing and continuity and all this kind of stuff. Hope this doesn't get too confusing. So I forgot to actually mention in the first bit of blurb that the video has a really interesting musical track which everyone plays here in England which I didn't know was a Japanese song and it was about a cat because I um, I looked up the lyrics so the this track do you recognize the song? I'm sure everyone played this like in school on the piano on the black notes I did not know it was a real song. Who knew? But yeah, that's 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 the weird segue. That's the song that was um, in the background of the stop motion uh, animation. And uh, yeah, really weird. Going back to uh, mashing stuff on the piano at school. That's um, bit of a bit of a weird sort of rabbit hole. And then, uh, yes, of course, everything on the internet goes back to cats, so no matter what you do, everything on the internet comes back to cats in the end, I suppose. So, um, I guess, see how long I can go with it being interesting before when I, future me, is reviewing this. Um, how long it takes for me to then stick it straight into time-lapse mode which may not be long I guess I start by going against the traditional blender wisdom that says you must delete the default cube so I'm possibly um, bringing about some kind of curse but there you go I'm box modeling from the uh, default cube in the default scene. Um, here is where I think, oh, I need a palette for this. And so I go to my favorite website, which is low spec, and this has a bunch of palettes, basically, that are intended for pixel art, but I like them because with a limited number of colors to work from, it kind of almost forces more creativity to work with those colors so what I'm using here is I think just eight colors um, and with that you can still create some uh, some dynamism so uh, right here is just continuing the box modeling subdividing the mesh using the knife tool to then break it up into, into triangles most of this is kind of um, not the best way of modeling I suppose but um, that's the way I kind of like things around in a sort of semi sculpty way and then uh, yes 
not a lot else to add other than it seems 90% of the modeling I do is uh, is tweaking 10% actually making stuff or modeling things and then 90% moving everything around again but uh, yeah you know you can see with um, just those limited colors you can do a lot so I've got like one of those those fancy expensive cats with the um, those sort of gradient pores but now we know it's called point coloration and the fancy breed of cat is a Siamese okay I think we've finished I'm just gonna do one more thing and I'm gonna change the color of the other cat so it looks more interesting color one of these cats in because let's do oh. it was at this point I realized I'd hit some random keystroke and in fact turned off the ability to rotate scale or move anything in blender thankfully there was a helpful German on YouTube who did get me back up and running so um, I think only 20 minutes were lost trying to figure out what the hell had happened to the interface And now I look back at this one, having already retrospectively in editing the original video looked up what a Siamese cat looks like. He should probably have a black face. So I think oh, I can do this. This isn't really adding any shape, but it is adding polygons I can colour in, so it's not, you know, it's probably not the best. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial on how to do things the correct way because it's totally not the correct way but um, I'm just using this uh, geometry to then do a fade on the face I'm going to do it like this so let's do back to face mode Get a UV editing. So we have our face. And the way this is done, we'll just do S0 to make everything the same colour. And I'm going to work backwards from that colour. Just do Control minus to select the next shade along. Uh, let's see if this will work. <laughs> Looks like a Bane. Bane the cat. Let's uh, make a little purple nose. Mm. Is that too severe? Let's just do. Oops. Make his eyes black. Then pink nose, like so. Oh, he hasn't got his own. I thought I did the feet as well. I'm sure I did gradient feet. Alright, well, there we go. Let's do gradient feet then. So, yeah, if I was to do this again, I'd probably plan a bit more. I would know what a Siamese cat is now and uh, stuff like that but um, it was a good exercise I mean the only reason I'm doing this is just to sort of kind of improve my skills and uh, all that kind of stuff I guess so uh, I'm hoping uh, down the line to look back on stuff I've done and go like oh yeah you actually have improved in the last year um, so yeah I'm um, <sighs> sleepy time now then um, um, yeah maybe this time next year I'll have hit 500 subscribers after um, nearly 10 years on YouTube of making random content with no direction whatsoever. So uh, yeah, um, here's the final render.